Sagittarius, the Awakened Dreamer here. Third time is the charm as this is my third attempt to give you your weekly reading for the week of November 22nd to the 28th, 2021. Wow, why do things have to be so difficult? And that is obviously coming out for a reason, okay? Um, do keep in mind this is general. Don't stress over what doesn't resonate. Just take what does, okay? And run with it. But um, as well, I do want to thank you genuinely for joining me, uh, for being here. But, uh, ooh, wow, that was a lot of fire. Um, like, comment, and subscribe as always. Um, it's been a while since I put it in that way. But if you're looking to book a personal reading with myself, just shoot down to the description box below where you'll see the options pricing in my email. Just reach on out and I'll get that started for you, okay? Oh, I said in all three attempts, um, or the first two, that you have a lot going on, okay? Uh, but interestingly enough, the underlining focus in the second attempt, no, the first attempt, was uh, power. I feel like you, there's a focus on your power, on people not giving you enough credit for what you bring to the table, or your knowledge, your wisdom, or the advice you give, or just everything you do for the people you love. Maybe feeling like you deserve to be in charge of moment, shape, or form. But we're going to pull the overall um, energy for the week from the Elemental Oracle deck. Okay. Ooh. This is a mystery or a darkness that just kind of is an overcast for the week. Movement, speed. Yeah, a lot going on. A lot of traveling this week. A very Eight of Wands vibe coming through. Okay. As well, an underlying focus on your endurance, being a rock in a situation, and needing people to sort of recognize that. You may not just, uh, as a heads up, get that sort of recognition, people being like, we know you're the rock of this family or of this work situation or in this relationship, you know, but it will just be this sort of vibe and appreciation in other ways, okay? So let's pull the main part of the reading from the Mystic Mondays Tarot deck. Queen of Cups and Strength at the, split, at the split deck, excuse me if I could even say it, all right, uh, focus on your confidence, on your stripes, on you owning the ups and the downs, the struggles, the slip-ups, as I went to go hold these up and I could barely even spit it out, you know what I mean? It's, things aren't going to happen perfect, happen, wow, struggle, things aren't going to happen or unravel perfectly this week, and you need to accept that, okay? It feels like some of you do desire a level of perfection, or just, um, have so much going on that you can't expect things to be in line or perfect or have other people um, do things perfectly. Does that make sense? It's like you almost want somebody or multiple people in your situation in your life to do what you would do without you telling them to do it. You know, it's like at times you may have to just kind of remind somebody to do something or express your opinion on how they're going about it. Release or minimize your expectations when it comes to those you were wrapped up with this week, okay? <sighs> Struggle is real. Okay, so that's the second time Leo energy came out in this reading. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, even though I haven't pulled the fourth one, because that's what we've been going with for the other two fire signs. There is a focus on your finances, on a fresh financial start, or what you're investing in these days. Um, it feels like a lot of which you don't expect a huge return from, you know, whether it's kind of treating those around you or treating yourself that came out in your reading recently. Interesting. Okay, we're going to go with this one. You may not be feeling your most confident this week, okay, or feeling like you don't get the sort of position or the credit for being in charge, you know. You may feel like you're not a manager at work and you should be or whatever the case may be. Again, it could be more family or relationship oriented or a group of friends for some of you. Okay. So we're beginning with the four of swords. So you begin the week and there's a need to take a step back, adjust your perspective or simply rest. You're burnt out and it feels like you don't have the option to, but you will be granted a moment or two in the beginning of the week where you can. It's whether you choose to. Okay. Typically coming through as a, a bit of a busybody. Feeling maybe a bit pessimistic or a bit uh, of that doubt within you. Um, you kind of giving off that energy and people noticing it, okay? Um, needing to sort of keep the hope alive to take a step back and 
there's a focus on your wishes, your goals, your dreams, you know, what you truly desire moving forward. It does matter. At times you focus on what other people want, what they desire. All the meanwhile, you do kind of want that sense of control and power. It can be a bit confusing, can it? Especially if you put yourself in other people's shoes around you. That is the third time Leo is popping up in your reading. Uh, clearly a hefty presence in your life in one way, shape, or form, or at least mentally. Ace of Cups, like, you will be reminded how abundant you are this week, okay? Or you just feel as if, especially when it comes to connections, loved ones, you know, support in that sense, you're so damn abundant, okay? And if you take a moment and you'll be pushed to do so at certain points this week and look around, abundance is just a part of your situation, your life, all right? Even if you desire a level of change, um, I just feel like it's also going to be a very spiritually connected week for you. You need your rest. Did I not say it was a very Eight of Wands kind of week? All right, what do we have for this Eight of Wands? Wow, it's a lot. And that's the key wording, all right? Um, that's a lot. This is a lot to deal with. The Chariot, the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, and Three of Cups. Let's take it step by step. Also key wording, all right? When you're going after what you desire or something you look to achieve at this time, it's happening, but you have to keep that motivation alive, right? It doesn't feel like you have a lot of time this week to uh, just sit around or to rest, but you will be given moments here and there. Please do remember that you owe it to yourself to rest, to recover, to make the best out of when you start moving once again, okay? Charging towards what you desire. A focus on how depleted or how heavy it feels when you have a lot on your shoulders, but you do accept it, bring it on. Or even add more to your plate, right? A focus on your happily ever after. And for a lot of you, your family. How intertwined this abundance is when it comes to your family, all right? Especially when it comes to other friends as well. I don't know why I said especially. You might find that your friends or uh, certain connections outside of your family make you feel even more abundant on top of it all, right? But there's a focus on your feminine side, your, um, your passion, feeling a bit secretive. But there could be a, a someone in your life who's very in touch with their feminine side who is coming off a bit secretive and unexpectedly, okay? Um, two or three women I'm getting. It could be men, you know, just in touch with their feminine side. And this could be including you or it could be three plus you. Um, definitely focus on that, that group and how strong it's meant to be, how much of a support system it is. A little bit codependent, but at the same time, it's just like, very much intertwined, okay? You might find there's a level of secrecy in the midst of that, uh, those connections, even if you don't feel like it at all times. The sun. Wanting things to feel more peaceful, but it just doesn't feel attainable right now. Uh, needing more water in your life, more sun. Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, feeling a bit feisty when it comes to your relationship or your love life in general. Um, cause we also have the lovers, um, or just because you're not getting enough sleep, your dreams are pissing you off or just making you emotional. All right. Put your sword away. Don't allow yourself to let your emotions transfer as, or translate into aggression or just, um, being pissed off. It just feels like at times you'll be a bit fed up with somebody or how somebody's doing something. Maybe that you ask them to do or just, um, again, the way somebody's doing something, release that need to control those around you or how things are taking place or unraveling. Just go with the flow, okay? Bring it back, you know, take a step back, going back to the four swords and focus on your peace, your inner peace, your happiness, your glow, all right? And you'll probably find a creative solution or at least a better solution to whatever's bothering you, okay? You will find yourself thinking about a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. Um, it could be a Pisces as well. Interesting. Now I'm hearing maybe Gemini. But either way, you, someone else in your life, you may think, well, what would they do in this situation? I think it will benefit you. Ten of Swords. So you finish up the week feeling a bit depleted. A focus on what needs to end. A bit of conflict or stress in your life in one way, shape, or form. A damn headache. I feel like someone has a migraine going into the back of their neck. Oh, I've been there. 
Oof, you're more sensitive to energy than you want to give yourself, uh, not credit for it, but just than you want to acknowledge at times. Feeling a bit emotional, okay? Wanting to put a sword in what's no longer working or what's stressing you out. You could be dealing with a noisy environment, as you can hear that in the background. All right, manifesting, uh, focus on your manifestation skills at the end of the week, but all the meanwhile, feeling a bit depleted, okay? You don't want to expect the worst, uh, out of situations or a situation, maybe even people, and then end up manifesting it, okay? Well, I need to pull one more. For a lot of you, it has to do with work, okay? Four of Cups. You just won't be in the mood at the end of the week, during the weekend, and that's totally fine. Allow yourself to just do what feels right for you. You owe it to yourself at the end of the week, at the end of the day, all right? Bear with the background noise. I surrender all expectations. Absolutely relevant. Let's pull one more. For my lovely Sagittarius's. I honor my body's needs. Yeah, you need to rest. You need to replenish. You need to take care of oneself and heal your physical body as well as your emotional uh, side, okay? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. I hope you have an amazing week, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Sag.